in this video, we'll talk about the summary of um, certain stuff. At least you'll get to know something um, that is important. Alright, the first thing that I want you to know is if you have a stress state like this, going in this um, linear system over here, alright, you're gonna use the equation of S1, as we say, m is equals to SYB. But because we're only caring about the magnitude, the absolute value, we can simply switch the c square over to the other side. So I have c square minus 1 that a square. Okay, so I'm just simply um, changing this to minus and this one to plus. So therefore, plus c2 minus 1 that a square. Alright, so this is the, the form for your linear. This is the equation for your moment for elastic system. Okay? And also, the elastic system of this portion over here. Alright, this line can also use this formula. Alright, please take note of it. Alright, so in the next video, we're going to talk about it because I came from the next video. <laughs> so I do that the, the next video first, and then I do this video because something cock up just now. Anyway, let's continue first. Now, if you're talking about just the pure pure um, yielding, alright, then instead of um, this equation, you say that um, this is, you just remember this is C A, this is minus A, this is C, this is 0, alright, this should be, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, um, if you're talking about this thing over here, then you say that A is equals to C, alright, and therefore, um, this one will become one third C square, alright, if you go to minus, what do they have is this thing, or S Y B two third C square, okay? And this is for the particular case for your for your this part over here. All right, but it's it still haven't U yet. Just that A is equals to C. All right, so far so good. And if you have a pure U in this case, sorry, this is C, this is A, this is minus A, this is C. When it states that when A is equals to zero, because at this portion over here, this this particular line, this is zero. So when A is equals to zero, then you gonna use subject this equation, where when A is equals to zero. Alright, you only have SYB C square. So what I have is SYB C square. Alright. So therefore at different occasions, if it's a linear system, also for apply for this system over here, you use this thing. If you're talking about this thing over here, alright, this thing over here, when A is equals to C, you use this formula. When A is equals to zero, which is um, at this particular point, you should say that it's this thing. Then it's simply m is equals to s y b c square. All right. Hope that this is this is pretty clear. Next thing you may wonder is what is a and what is c. All right. You will have something like this. All right. And this is your cross section of your um of your beam, if you to say. And this is one part of your cross section, somewhat d a. But in terms of d a, um, this is um at this particular midpoint. This is your, your neutral axis, if you remember, 0. And then this is your, your, your top of your height. Maybe this is 5 cm, this is 5 cm. So your C is your 5 cm. If you're talking about A, then it's about maybe 2.5 cm. Alright, so it's, it's just like this. If you were to visualize in a, in a more um, 3D type of stuff, what you can see is a um, thing over here. Alright, this is your B. Alright, if you still wonder what is B, this is your breath. And this is some sort of your your length, and this part is over here is our neutral axis, and we say that this is um five, and then this is um minus five, things like that, All right? And where your your system, your this particular um stress distribution is somewhere over here. Maybe I should draw it better, something like this. All right, so your C and your A is five, length five. And then over here it's um, 2.5 or some, for example, alright? At least you get a, f get a feel of it, right? right. And the next last one is actually the plus minus sign. I want to convey, alright? If you have an elastic region over here, you have like C only and minus A. You have like no in between like A and um, minus, or you have C and minus C and minus A and A. You don't have A and minus A, alright? So therefore, you only have C and minus C over here. And therefore, um, uh, but to further bend your system, you know that you actually go into this manner. Alright? Go into this manner. 
and this thing will actually goes down and this thing is going to go up and what what thing goes up and what thing goes down is in fact your yield strength all right your yield strength is not that it's, it's decreasing but it's in terms of the direction that it's going if it's going downwards means that you're going to have more more yield strength that is in, in this direction or if you're going upwards this means that you're going to further yield your your material so if you were to further yield your material you have somewhat like this already all right and therefore um, you have more more of the um, not more lah, just still still the same but this is in terms of negative sign that's all because you're moving in this direction your your curvature your distribution is moving in in this direction all right if you are going in this direction then this is also minus if you are going in this direction it's plus all right and therefore this explains from c to a is a negative sign over here it's because you are going downwards all right so the, the more a you have the more um not more la, but rather you are still going in the in the um, negative direction and this is why for the, the intervals between c and a you take um, negative negative um, s y so also because if you still remember um when you start to bend you will have like this right and then when you continue to bend you eventually comes to like this all right you eventually becomes in this shape all right so when you go in this direction and somewhat in, in going in the minus direction this will, this, this one will be going in the plus direction so this this is more um applied when you're talking about changing the ea over r or your ey over r is equals to your sy because your ey over r is moving your whole whole elastic region over here or you have to say this thing over here is moving in this direction the angle is moving in this direction the more the more you bend you're gonna you're gonna go in this direction and go in this direction all right so therefore um this is why i'm saying that you, you get what i mean so at first is it's like this and then it, it starts to go like this and go like this and go like this eventually or in other words is when it starts like this and then eventually it goes like this and then eventually it comes into here so you are go actually going in this direction ma, so therefore it's negative so that so if you were to talk about that then your 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 u strength is going to be negative or your eyr is e over r your elastic region because we say that it's going in in, in a in a anti-clockwise i mean in a clockwise direction therefore it's negative all right and therefore i hope that this is pretty clear and these are the, the little stuff that you need to take note when you're deriving your moment. Alright, if they ask you to derive this, at least you'll know where is it going. Alright, and I shall see you soon in other stuff. Goodbye.